I got my drawer. Now, this is drawer number one, top drawer. Got a piece of scrap plywood to just fit in here. I'm going to use this, uh, my line here as my center line. sure that this side if it's a oh let me check these yeah they're all the same so I don't have to worry about that it can really only go one way anyway so I'm taking that one that I really had to grind the the uh, imperfections out of and I'm gonna set this on here Yeah, that's going to be in too far. I have to do it like this. All right, I found center. Uh, wrap the line. Actually, I want to glue that. That shouldn't matter. No, it's not going to matter. It's Wrap the line. Now I'm just gonna I'll just position this with some glue. And put that in place. And give it some time to set up. All right, we'll give that a whatever. I got to do a little outside project. I'll get that done and come back and see how this is holding up. Okay, I think it's been about an hour at least. Time to wrap our. We have one arbovita in our landscaping and we had to wrap it with burlap to make sure it's going to stand up against the ice and snow. So now this will give me an idea where I need to be. I think what I'll end up doing here <clears throat> Just grab a, this three eighths is going to be too much. <clears throat> you know what I think I'm going to do is start with an eighth. I can always go backwards.
So now, I'll set this to the depth, or just a little bit shy of the depth. Inscribe this way and this way. You gotta make a line. All right, that'll prevent blowout. I'm going to use my router, I think, to, to hog these out. All right, I just made a series of cuts with my table saw blade. Um, one thing I did do was I established my outside cuts first, and I did those uh, quarter inch to give me a buffer zone. Then I just freehanded the rest of them, and then you can see what I've got left here. This is that that wedge I need to remove. And I'll, I'll take this out with my router plane. I finished working on this a little bit last night and I thought I had, had to come up with some way to stabilize this uh, router plane because once you get to one edge it wants to drop on you you got to be real careful so I, I was thinking well, I just got to make something to sit in here to give me a, a bridge and I already had it <laughs> this this jig that I made to, uh, to make the cut for this handle well, it just has to be turned around and there it is. And there's what I need. <laughs> anyway, it's just funny how things work out that way sometimes. So I'm just going to set that in there like that. And continue to go to work now. I'm getting ready to make the final cut here, I believe. See how well this thing just... By using this as a 
a balancing beam, I guess. It just makes it so much easier. There it is. I mean, that's that's just a feather. I mean, a just a whisker above that surface, and that's what I want. I'll take just maybe a, a pass or two with the plane, get that nice and leveled out. So I'm going to mark this to make sure I make that this one goes with this one. One to one. Nope. All right, I just finished up. This is drawer number three. Getting this close, and while I was doing it, it gives me the idea of which direction to come from when I'm planning it. So I mark that on the inside with that arrow and as I'm looking at it from the side this way it appears to me that the direction to go when I hand plane this the top flush is to go in this direction. So that's what I'll I'll try first. But that one is essentially ready to go and get glued in. Um, but before I do that, I will, you know, give this once more, you know, good look over to make sure everything is is uh, sanded and feels good, and it does. But it's a lot easier to sand this or take care of it while this is out of the way. All right, after inspecting the drawers, I'm I'm good to go to glue these in here. So I've got two of them done already. Let me show you what I did. Just a little dab of glue here in the corners. Some along this edge. Not a lot. Now then this side, a little glue. And then on the end grain here. all it takes. Put that in there a little short and then push it in and push down at the same time. So get a nice tight fit and then just use this spring clamp while pushing in. There's one flushed up inside and out. And it works just lovely. This is flush. You gotta sand the inside here. But you don't want to do that before you do this operation up because you won't get a good uh, good match. That feels really nice. 
All right, let me show you how I did this. This is drawer number one. Yeah, that's okay. We can do this one. I'm going to get the glue off of this one. More squeeze out here than any of the others. Okay, so first the inside, and with this one I just clamp it here in this corner. Use my block plane that takes kind of a rough, you know, a thin, thick shaving. It's close on this end. This side is a little higher. This one, and this just takes really fine shavings. There it is. I think that's, yep, that's it right there. Okay, so the inside's done. Now the top. Got this set to take a really fine shaving as well. Just to make sure I'm going the right direction here. Yeah, that feels good. Real close. Real close.
See if I can get one more pass here. That's good. So there it is. Okay. All three drawers are done except for a little fine tuning with the hand sanding. I like it. All right, on to the next operation, which I think I'll just end up uh, working on these trays next.